<laughs> Good morning, everyone. I am currently heading to the Atwood Mountain Bike Trail System just south of Rockford, Illinois. So the trails are built in an old artillery range and shooting range. So the trails names have a military name. So there's Daisy Cutter, Whiz Bang, that leads to 30 Cal and Blackjack. The beginner trail, I don't believe has a military name, but we'll find out when we get there. It's gorgeous out this morning. And uh, hopefully there's not too big of a crowd. Ah, look at that, it's not bad at all. Woohoo! Yeah! All right. All right, so the beginner's loop that we're doing is called Founders 56. Tina's gonna take us through it. Here we go, it's one way. You go counterclockwise for biking, clockwise for walking. It's a great little warm up before you go hit the uh, big trails, isn't it? It's a good place to have a party. It's a good place to have a party. Ooh. At games is rock. The yeah, loop is just shy of a mile. So once you finish the founder's loop, come down the road and it'll take you to the next set of trails. So the next set of trails, you've got to go across this beautiful bridge. And then off to the right is the trailhead. There's four loops here. We start with Daisy Cutter. We go up to Whiz Bang in the red, 30 Cal in the purple. Black Hawk in the brown. Yep, stay right. And come back with a load of wood at Gaines is Rock. Gaines is Rock. Good place to have a party. Just don't fall off of that rock. Gaines is Rock. Gaines is Rock. Good place to have a party. Just don't fall off of that rock. This is the top of the trail system. Okay, we just stopped, had a little fun. Now we got some work ahead of us. Now we gotta climb all the way back up to where we started. The trail builders did a nice job though, setting it up in waves so it's not a straight up. deep in the moonlight with the water is icy cold. These trails are multi-directional. So, if you don't like one way it flows, sometimes go back the other way on it and it'll be funner. Wow, this direction is fun. You, you, nice, nice weaving. Oh, oh. Almost got carried away into that tree, didn't you? Yep. So they have these rollers so you can kind of catch your breath as you're going up. A little dip to help you get some speed to go up. So we were down there just a moment ago. Actually, down there. Maybe I can get up and get in the bed. Good job.
six. Okay. Hey. That was pretty cool. I can't believe it's gorgeous. Sponge Bonnie. Sponge Bonnie. Sponge Bonnie. And a lime of bean sandwich for me. Beach sand. So we're almost done with the trail system. We've done all of these. And a live or bean sandwich for me. But right now, you can't beat it. How'd you like the trails today? Oh yeah. Yeah. Love that wood. Okay, so this is my official, unofficial review of the Atwood Trail System in Rockford, Illinois. The trails are wide and well maintained. They've got drainage all over the place, uh, so they dry out fast after rain. It's incredible how fast they dry out, well engineered. Uh, they're mostly level, meaning they're flat, uh, meaning they're not off camber, which means sloping to the right or sloping to the left. So that's a good thing because for beginner riders, you've got a straight shot to the ups and downs okay so there's not a lot of off camber also there's no roots or rocks to navigate uh, so your obstacles are very limited as far as what you have to go over and uh, practice riding over all trails are bi-directional meaning you can go any direction you want except for the beginner loop the uh, founders loop which is the beginner loop uh, bikes have to go counterclockwise and it's posted at the beginning of the trailhead and walkers go clockwise that way you can see each other head-on versus somebody walking and you're coming up behind them and they don't hear you and you can have a collision at least this way you can see each other and make way on the path so that's a good thing the trails are well marked once you understand the marking system uh, on the trailhead signs the trails actually have names like daisy cutter whiz bang but once you get onto the trail system uh, all those signs and markers have letters and initials so you got to know what those mean. So WB stands for whiz bang, DC stands for daisy cutter, and so on. So if you get that down pat going into the trail system, it'll make more sense once you're there because then the letters make sense for you. Overall, the trails are pretty easy to ride for everybody. There are a few climbs out there, and Tina did have to walk a couple. So they do have some elevation, which is cool because once you're up at the top, you got some extra neat views. There's also some old legacy trails that are unmarked. Trails that were out there prior to uh, the, the, the new trails being built and marked. Uh, they're still available to ride. Uh, they're rugged. They're more natural. Uh, and they can add some more flavor as well as distance to your rides. So the trails are great for all skill level. Novices will struggle in a couple areas on the even on the green trail because of uh, the up and down. Uh, but only in a couple areas. Uh, overall, the risk factor is very low, other than falling off your bike and maybe landing on the ground, uh, the dirt, or into some grass or bushes. That's about the worst that could happen. Uh, otherwise, uh, the texture to the trails will add a, a nice challenge for beginners. So mid-level riders will enjoy the blue loops. The blue loops, again, are still very flat. There's not a lot of off-camber meaning angled. Uh, but there is some elevation, so there's a good workout involved. Uh, there's some fun downs. Some of the fun downs, they've got some berms built into place, so you can take them a little bit faster, uh, and you can practice your skill sets. Also, even the expert riders can get a good workout in, and when they go out there, because of the elevation, uh, if they hit the trails hard, they can probably pop in a couple loops in a hurry and get a good sweat built up because of the uh, elevation changes. There's also a lot of nature out there. There's a beautiful river that you get to cross over on both sides uh, from both ways. Uh, it's a nice looking suspension bridge. Also, uh, while Tina and I were out there, you saw we had six deer run across the trail in front of us. It was kind of cool to pause and watch them as they cross the trail running through the woods. We've also seen turkey out there, and I'm sure there's a lot of other animals besides the squirrels and the chipmunks that we've seen also. Now, my wife Tina loves the trails as well as I do, and it's nice because based on the skill level of the trails themselves, we can both ride together. 
She enjoys the uh, Founders Loop. She also enjoys the Blue Trails, but they're a little more work for her. And we get to ride together as a couple, which is kind of cool. So in summary, uh, the trails are really good. They're well built, uh, well maintained, easy to find and get to, well marked. Uh, and I think everybody will enjoy them. So if you get a chance, get out there, give them a try. I think you'll enjoy what you find.